Washington today, White House, the White House was feeling the heat because of a new twist in the fiery debate over Benghazi, the attack on the U.S. consulate that killed four Americans. A new email seems to call into question what the White House said about its role. And ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, was there asking the questions. Eighteen months after the terrorist attack in Benghazi, Libya, that killed four Americans, newly released emails suggest the White House blamed the attacks on an anti-Islamic video in order to deflect criticism of the president's policies. The previously secret White House email lists top goals for Ambassador Sun as she prepared for a now infamous round of interviews just days after the attacks, saying she should, quote, underscore these protests are rooted in an Internet video and not a broader failure of policy. And that's what she said. In reaction to this uh, very offensive video that was disseminated. The White House has long insisted Rice's talking points came from the intelligence community, but the email is written by a top political aide. And the former CIA director recently told Congress the intelligence community didn't agree with what Rice said. When she talked about the video, um, my reaction was that's not something that the analysts um, have attributed this attack to. The White House insists the email doesn't change the story at all, but it was only released in response to a lawsuit demanding all Benghazi-related emails. Why were you holding back this information? Why was this email not turned over to the Congress? This is directly relevant. Why did you hold it back? John, again. Why did it take a court case for you to release this email? John, I, I can say it again and again, and I know uh, you can keep asking again and again. This document was not about Benghazi. That's right. The White House says it didn't initially release the email because it was about broader unrest in the Arab world and not Benghazi specifically. Officials also point out that they eventually corrected the record, acknowledging there were no protests in Benghazi before that attack. But, Diane, this latest revelation has Republicans demanding another investigation. Right there at the White House for us again, Jonathan Carl.